Hey guys, it's Justin. Quick note, my hop lot is going to be on the second lap, but I uploaded both laps anyways to show that nothing sketchy is going on. And if you know, you know. So if you want to pause the video on the second lap to find the off throttle and dragging brake points, go ahead. And also, thanks for all the support recently. And if you want to help me out, make sure to like and subscribe. Alright, thank you. All right, let's take a look at this. So I ended up doing a hot lap on my second lap. You can do either first or second. If you mess up your first, unless you light up the tires, I would go for the second lap because the extra heat in the tires will really help you out with grip. And I think it evens out the wear that you might put on it. So you go into the out lap or coming to your hot lap and I let off really early in the corner with the main goal that I want to be full or at least mostly full on the throttle by the time you get to this big skid mark right here. So you see that? Once you get to this big skid mark, you want to be at least mostly on the gas. So the best way to achieve that is to really go by the wall into the corner, but back off pretty early, and you'll be able to get that angle downward while also being full on the gas. So you see I'm able to be mostly full on the throttle it's really loose, so you just gotta fight it the whole way without losing your rears. And you see by the end, I'm really gaining the momentum off the corner, and now we are ready to go into our lap. So turn one is gonna be your money corner here. It's gonna, it's very difficult. I took a, took about 30 minutes to really master this. So my goal on entry is to get my lefts on the first seam but with the intention of sliding up towards the wall. And if you can get, just like the outlap, our goal is to get on the throttle as early as possible. And I found my way to achieve that was to have the car slide up the track, but then use the car's looseness to almost turn it back down the track. So you'll see that I kind of enter, try to hit this, and then I go all the way up to the wall, and I kind of turn back down off the wall. So we'll see that and um, go back a bit here. So you see, I get my left on the seams and then let's see when I gas up. Okay, so I'm half throttle before, I'm barely even sliding up, but I already get to half throttle. Let's see, let's see how quick I got on the throttle again. And this is the point of the line is to get on the throttle as early as possible. So off throttle, a little bit of trail break and then gas up to half almost instantly, get as close to the wall as you're comfortable with. And then the looseness of the car, if you time it right, will rotate it back off of the wall, and now all you have to deal with is the looseness condition of the car. So if you want to, oh, let me go back there. So you don't have to go full throttle here. You can really modulate the throttle a little bit, but if you're really confident in your ability to keep your rears under you using your steering wheel, this is going to be the optimal way to get there. And you see I'm able to carry a lot of speed off the corner even though I gassed it up in the middle. 
Now we're going to be taking a completely different line here. So I, in my opinion, the fastest way is to go all the way to the bottom or maybe the first seam, depending on what your car wants to do. And what I mean by that is that when I was getting my initial angle to go into the corner here, I had to make a split second decision. I really didn't mind whether I was going to take the line where I apex at the seam or apex at the apron. So when I started to see my entry, I had to make that split second decision. I'm either going to commit to the white line or I'm going to commit to the first seam. And I chose to commit to the white line in this case. So I used that little bit of trail braking. Sorry, you can't see it, but I just barely dragged the brake. And I wrap it around the white until it makes sense to come off of it and then start wrapping it on the seam. Now by that point I'm already full throttle and dealing with the looseness is going to be a tough ask yet again, but it's, it's doable. So let's, let's see when I get on the throttle here, how early we can get on the throttle. So the reason I don't like going against the wall in 3 and 4 is for some reason there might be some bumps or something but in the middle of 3 and 4 you really have to wait on the gas a lot longer than 1 and 2 for a hot lap especially. So as you can see we hit the middle of the corner just about the apex and I can already gas it to 3 quarters. And once I get above that seam the car starts rotating extra on its own and that's when you can go full throttle. So you can see here one more time. While I'm on the white line, it's only going to be three quarters throttle. But once I get above that seam, it's when the car gets rotation. And you can see that with my wheel too. Car got extra rotation changing the banking a little bit from the first to the second lane and I can get to full throttle once I get above that seam and then you just power it off the corner and fight the looseness the best of your ability. So you can see here, oh, a lot of wheel action, a lot of wheel action, but not losing any speed according to my relative. So yeah, that's a, that's a lap at Homestead. This is already a long video, so might as well in the outro give some of my opinions for the race pace. I did the uh, first race of the week and I struggled a lot actually and well m a lot of it was due to me hitting the wall halfway through the race but even then I, I felt like my line was going to be hurting me by the end regardless of if it hit the wall or not so former coke driver bob bryant was the one who ended up winning and i looked over his replay and sorry i didn't save it for you guys i, I didn't think to but what he was doing the entire race was just easing out early of the throttle and wrapping the first seam for both corners. Just about as simple as you can get, but if you can execute that it, with, with as much patience and keeping your momentum and not putting the wear in the tires, that that's going to be the way to go for the full race run. I saw people try the wall and it just, it wasn't working. It really wasn't. So if you're, when you get into the race, try that first seam, try being patient and let the race come to you. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about in general, feel free to leave a comment about it and I could make my next video around it. And uh, if you want to help me out, please like and subscribe.